The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. From the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach on the campus of Ori Georgetown Tech is my executive chef guest today, Jason Scarborough. Jason, former graduate here. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. You're now working for U.S. Food? Yes, sir. That's correct. Ah, oh, man. And I tell you what, you guys have seen this guy's dad on our show for the past 22 years. And I tell you what, now he's down in Texas, probably <laughs> using the fly rod. That's right. Using his fly rod. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, look, I tell you what, folks, this is a first for us because several weeks ago, we were out with your dad no. and we went king fishing. Yes, sir. And I caught one. Okay? No, now, come on. Yeah, man. And he put so you on one. <laughs> he did, and, and your dad kept it so we could cook it on today's show. That's right. Yeah, well. Don't get more local than that, I it? know you don't. All right, man. Show All me right. what we're doing. Well, when when we filleted it out, we left that bloodline in there. Right. And a lot of people say that king, king mackerel is pretty fishy, right? I got Got you. some oils in there. This is a great fish for smoking, so make sure you take all that bloodline out and that will kind of get rid of that fishiness ah, I got you. that, that okay. people always kind of say. So we're going to smoke this? Yeah, so there's a couple different ways you can smoke it. You can throw it on your grill and smoke it like a Traeger or something like that. Right. There's another way that you can do it. You can put these kind of little chips, right. these smoke chips, right in there. And put right. it on a stove and that'll start smoking. You put that, that'll smoke it like that. That's, really? that's one way, right? Okay. Or you can kind of go high tech redneck on this thing. Oh right? man. So this is called a smoke gun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of seal it. I'll show you what it does first yeah, before see. we get started. Okay. So you get a little fire, a little heat. Look at that thing pumping that smoke out, right? Yeah, that's awesome. So now you get that smoke going. Bam. Cover that thing up, throw it in the oven. Right. Once you get all that smoke pumped in there. Throw it in your oven for about 10, 15 minutes and let that thing fully cook and now you got smoked fish in the house. Really? Yep, without having to have that grill. You see all that smoke? You smell yeah. all that delicious smoke coming off of it? I'm serious. So, all right. So the recipe with smoked kingfish is gonna be? We're gonna make some dip out of it. Really? Yeah, some oh, cold man, smoked that's your fish dip. Favorite. Oh no, I know, you know it. I always he, gotta make it. He told me that he taught you how to cook that. He probably did at one point. <laughs> I probably forgot that day, but. Uh, Maybe I maybe I advanced it there a little bit. How about wow, that? This is going to be great. All right, so now we're going to put it together once this comes out of the oven, okay? All right, All right now. Done? Yeah, man, I'm going to pull this out. So All it's right. only been in there for about 10, 15 minutes. All right, here, so I'll it's, close the door. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. So got a little bit of that smoke still in it a little bit, as you can kind of see it, but it's really kind of absorbed into that fish. Oh, wow. And it's nice once this fish is kind of hot, so it's a little warm. So right. you can kind of come in here. You like tuna fish? I do. You're making tuna fish salad. Don't complicate this thing, right? Really? You're making okay. a nice little dip. Kind of dries out the fish a little bit, but all those oils in it, I yeah. really like ocean run mullet. Oh, sure. To doing a, doing a mullet dip. Yeah. So I've got a little bit of pickled okra here that okay. I've already diced up, yeah. right? Get some of that liquid in there because once again, that fish has dried out just a little bit. Right. Some diced up celery. Gotcha. Save the tops for your celery. Don't throw those away. Yeah. Those are edible. Those are nice little edible garnishes, right? Yeah. I've got a little red onion that's going to go down in there. I've got a wedge of lemon juice. Mm. You got to love that lemon juice, right? Yeah. And mayonnaise, right? Oh. Mayonnaise, a lot of people yeah. watching this show right now, right? That's how you use mayonnaise in a sentence. There you go. All right. <laughs> So get on some of that mayonnaise in there, and then we're just going to lightly mix this up. Really? Oh, well, that's easy. Yep. Come on. Yeah, easy yeah. enough, right? No wonder your dad was able to do it. I know, it I know, right? Huh? <laughs> a couple easy steps yeah, there. Look at it, just kind of coming together, just like a, like a tuna fish salad, right? And you know, that don't get any better than certified South Carolina no. right there. Now, you know, while you're doing that too, I got to talk about U.S. Foods and the chef stores yes. that you guys have. Yeah, we got three of them in our location, kind of in our footprint. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. uh, one in Columbia, one here in Myrtle Beach area, and then one in Charleston as well. And it's open to the public. Anybody go. can go. You don't have to own a restaurant or anything like so that. So the stuff that you you guys use, everybody can buy. That's right. Yeah. So now that this has kind of come together, right? We're just going to do a rustic plate, right? Ah. I've got some beautiful kettle cooked chips here. Uh, kind of dust it with a little bit of Old Bay spice or a little right. seafood spice. I got you. And then let's get some South Carolina locally oh, grown on there. Oh my gosh, look so, at that. So look my friend that. Eric, City Roots, yeah, yeah, my friend Eric over in Columbia at City Roots, if you want to go fancy with this thing, mm. just drop some of those microgreens in there so you can get a little piece. That's neat. 
How fun is that, right? That, Jason, that now you can take it out on the boat and eat it, or yeah. you can eat it watching the Super Bowl or something like that, right? Look, watching you know, the game. I know today we can't waste this because you're going to have to take it back to your dad. You know it's going back. But I really appreciate you coming to be oh, on the show today. I always enjoy it's it with always you. Good. Yes, it's sir. been too long, man. We've got to do this We'll again. do it again. Okay, I promise you. Yes, sir. Well, folks, listen, as always, by South Carolina. It's always going to be on the menu. Log on to certifiedscgrown.com and see what's fresh on your menu. We'll be right back here again next week on another great episode of the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit certifiedsc.com. It's a matter of taste.